Hello everyone, welcome back. So if you saw our last video, you saw that we painted some homemade squishies. Here's one, and here's the second one. Aren't they adorable? Well, of course, it was fun to paint them and all, but I'm sure you want to know how we made it. Well, in this video, we'll show you how. First, you're going to need a bunch of materials that I'm going to show you throughout this video. One of them being a water bottle or a drink bottle. You want soft plastic that you can cut easily. And also, I like to use bottles that have the same dimensions throughout, not the cone shape. So the first thing to do is to take the top and the bottom off so you create a container open-ended just like this. Now I have a plastic lid from another container and I have my LOL dolls that I'm going to use. What I've done to them is I filled in any of the clothing gaps with clay so that it makes the mold making a lot easier. And I'm going to hot glue them to that plastic lid. You need to make sure there's room all around to put that bottle container you made over it. Now you go around again and you hot glue it all around creating a seal with the water container. If the plastic is too soft and the glue is too hot, you might start melting that plastic. So you gotta judge what you're gonna do. When you're done, it should look like this. Now the next step is to test it to make sure it is sealed. And we're doing two things. One, I'm gonna measure how much liquid it'll take and make sure too that it's not leaking anywhere. See this one for example? It's leaking so that means it's not ready for the mold making and I have to go back and seal everything completely. Now I'm measuring the water because the next step is to create the silicone mold and this is the kit I'm using. There will be a link in my description to it. This is a product that contains two different parts, the yellow and the blue, and it's a one-to-one -one part. In order not to waste it, if I know it's going to take six ounces of water to fill that container, then I know I need three ounces of each. First thing to do is to stir well each one of these. One is pink and one is blue. Clearly marked so there should be no mix-ups and the instructions are very clear. Notice too that I covered my working surface with some newspaper because this could create a little bit of a mess. So I have some disposable cups here and I pre-measured the measurements I want. Both molds are different sizes so one goes to the first line and one goes to the second line. So first I'm going to make that second line and again I'm taking the same measurement of each one of these products. Now combine them both in another container and you should be using disposable containers, not containers that you use in the kitchen. Combine them both, mix well and you're about ready to go. Take one of your doll containers and you pour the solution into the corner, not directly on the doll. This will avoid air bubbles. And you fill it up all the way to the top. Bye bye, my little LOL! You go pretty simple let's do it to the other one as well this one is ready to go and we're going to set it aside it will take at least six hours to dry i let it dry a whole 24 hours and here it is the next day it's a solid block of silicone you remove it from the bottle container and this is why it's important that the plastic is fairly soft because you most likely will ne need to rip it off and then you cut carefully around it so you don't get to the doll and create an opening to take the doll out. It should come off pretty easily. 
as I cut around, I'd like to leave at least one side connected so the sides don't get misplaced. If you use clay to block any of the openings, clean it up. The my clay kind of disintegrated inside, so it created a little bit of a mess. And here's the mold after it's done. You see a perfect imprint of an LOL doll. The next step is to use yet another product from Smooth On. This one is the foam for the squishy. And the portions on these two are actually different. You need two measures of blue for every one measure of yellow. And it only takes a little bit of this product to make a large squishy. So if you see, I'm using a medicine container to take the measurements. Not a lot. And I'm going to make two LOL dolls out of this because it grows a lot. So you mix the solutions well and then you bring them together. Now with this one, you have to work fast because you only have a matter of seconds before the foam starts forming. So mix them well for about 10 seconds and then you pour them in the molds that we just made. The molds are reusable so you can make it over and over again. And your first casting may not be perfect, but you'll definitely learn from it. See how it's already foaming up? So we're running out of time. You put a little bit on and look, it starts growing and as it grows, it oozes out of that mold. Looking pretty cool. And you need to be patient. It takes about two hours for this process to be done and the squishy to be ready. Here we are, two hours later, it's all hardened. The best way is to cut it off if it's stuck to your base. Just like this, clean up and then carefully open it and pull the squishies out. Take a look at this, how cool is that? Now one of the arms didn't come out perfectly but it'll take a little bit of practice on how to do it. The next step is to trim off all the excess edges. And before you know it, you have awesome LOL squishies to paint and decorate. Want to see how these were done? Make sure you click on the link right now. Don't just click that subscribe button. Smash it instead and ring that bell. Be part of our growing movement. And why not watch another one of these awesome videos? Click above. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Make it fun.